Hey, so today I wanted to talk about a very useful tool in Polyworks called Visual Layouts. So just browse to it here. So it's under Tools, Visual Layout. So what this does is allows you to save preferred user interface layouts, uh, recall old ones, and even choose some predetermined ones. So we have manufacturing, manufacturing probing, surveying, all applications. So you can see in my layout here, it's all messed up. So you may work in a company where they have um, several different operators and each one will have their own preferences. You might open Polyworks one day and see it's all messed up like this. So I purposely did that just to show you how easy it is to get away from this and back to your own. So one thing you can do is actually recall a previous one or what they refer to as backups. So you can see the timestamps on them. So if I just go to one that I used a few days ago. So mine actually contains macros. Um, so I just need to answer yes to this one so that my macros are included, but don't worry about that. So here's a simple layout, easy to quickly um, just recall that. So again, that's under tools, visual layout and restore backup. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to create your own. So what I'll do here is customize. So back into visual layout and I'll go to customize. So what this lets you do is pick and choose your toolbars, what you want to show, what you want to hide. So I'll add a few uh, data objects, for example. So I'll just check on that. So you can see it up there for whatever reason, if I, if I need to use that a lot. Another thing we can do is create a new toolbar. So I'll just call it the default name, custom one. Click OK. And you can see it there in the upper left. So actually a blank toolbar. So the way this works is we would add a command to that, say something we use quite often, like align um, data to reference objects. That's a pretty common one. Best fitting a, a scan to a CAD. So you just drag it over like that. Another one we use quite often is color mapping. So I'll just uh, browse to that in the commands, drag it over to my custom toolbar. So that's just a quick example of uh, arranging the toolbars as you like them, creating customized toolbars, adding it to your layout, and the next step is we need to export it. So under Tools, Visual Layout, we're going to export this. Just put it somewhere on our computer. My new layout. So you can see I've, I've got another one loaded there, like a second shift layout. So let's just save that. Now it's available for uh, loading. Okay, so let's actually load that other one, that one that said second shift. I'll show you how that works. So that's under tools, visual layout, and load. So give that a click. So I'll click on the second shift one I did earlier and just open that. I'll say yes to this. There we go. So that, there's that one. It's kind of messed up, but just wanted to show you um, if this is your preferred layout, you can see the sequence editor is open. Uh, you may use that, you may not, but the point is we can save these under different names and quickly recall them. Um, and I like that they also give you the option to restore the backup. So you can just click on one that was used previously and bang, back to the simple layout. So I'll quickly show you the other options here, like these, for example, surveying. You see there's a few extra toolbars um, up here you can see the uh, different icons that you may not be used to if you just do probing or laser scanning it's more of a survey application uh, manufacturing probing you can see it's a uh, subtle differences this is actually one of the more simple ones uh, only showing what what is commonly used with probing and let's load that one I saved earlier called my new layout. There we go. 
layout. So there's my custom toolbar there that is now in my layout and the other uh, data object toolbar that I added. Okay, so that's just a, a quick little demo. A lot of people aren't aware of this. I like to do these little bonus uh, tech tip tutorials because the, the training doesn't always cover some of the finer points and some of um, these user preferences that uh, Polyworks allows. Okay, so that's about it. Um, thanks for joining me. Hope you found it useful and we'll see you next time.